Okay, this right here, uh, if you guys can see it, and of course it's it's all junky and full of leaves and all that kind of stuff because I haven't cleaned it for spring yet. But this right here is an idea that I got last year. And what it is, is this is an old box springs frame. I think I got a mattress and box spring set for like a dollar at a local auction. Nobody wanted it and I picked it up for about a dollar. And I couldn't use the mattress because it was pretty pretty worn out and in bad shape so I just burnt the mattress but I took the box springs and I tore all the material off because it already had an existing wood frame in there and you can see it's got the different rows uh, already built in for gardening I use this one for uh, for flower gardens if you can see I've already got some uh, some bulbs coming up in my flower garden but if you're going to use this for vegetable gardening this is great because you can use it for kind of like square gardening and it's already got the the uh, sections built in for you and uh, you can just clean the ground out until the ground up underneath it if you want to if you want to do just straight earth soil or you can fill each section with some kind of organic soil or compost uh, that would make it easier because there's not as much weeding that you have to do. But you can grow your vegetables, have them all nicely lined in, in evenly spaced rows, and you can keep stuff separate. So, like I said, I picked this one up for about a dollar, just stripped all of the material off of it, and I already had a frame for a buck, and you couldn't buy one board at the lumber store these days for a buck. So there you go. Here's another idea for you. These are uh, some dresser or desk drawers actually that I got uh, from an auction I think I paid a buck for them and they were filled with sheet music so I took all the sheet music out of them uh, for myself and I'm going to use the, the drawers you can see they're basically these are just kind of old plywood drawers so something like this isn't going to last for more than one maybe two seasons but you can take and drill holes in them for drainage and you've got you a nice already pre-built box for gardening in so that's another idea. You can pick this stuff up, it's like even at uh, like uh, you know garbage dumps and stuff like that. A lot of people just throw this kind of stuff out on the street for the garbage men to pick up. So if you'll take it and take it home and recycle it, you've already got some pre-made stuff, and you don't have to buy the materials for it. It'll save you some money. This right here, if you can see it good, uh, this is a Tupperware bowl this is part of the Tupperware collection and I have found that the Tupperware stuff if you can pick it up cheap at yard sales or auctions or things like that um, these are really super great for planting in and they come in all different sizes uh, this one is some kind of like I would say like sugar or flour container uh, they also the cake pan sizes are really really good because they're they're bigger you can get more in it but the thing that I like about these is that from the Tupperware, the type of plastic that they're made out of, I don't know if you can see this or not, but they are pliable. And they'll, they'll stand up longer out in the weather. They'll last you more years. I don't suggest using things from uh, like the storage boxes and stuff that they sell at Walmart these days. This is an example of a bunch that I had used. <clears throat> and I'll show you why, if, I, if it'll do it. If I can show you these are just standard boxes like a couple of bucks at Walmart but the plastic that they use is really super cheap and after about a year's time that's what happens to them the plastic is not good plastic it does not last and they break all to pieces so if you want something they'll last they'll last for a year if you just find some that you want to use for one season uh, but don't leave them out in the weather if you're gonna try to save them and reuse them what I would do is clean them out and bring them inside so that they don't sit out in the weather and out in the cold because if they do they'll get they'll get brittle and they'll break to pieces next year also if you can see the full thing this is a wheelbarrow this is one of the ones that I have and if you are going to do a lot of gardening then you probably want to find one of these if you can find one at a yard sale or something or just buy one I would invest and get a good one uh, this is an old 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 one that I've got that I picked up at a yard sale that I need to clean up but these are really great for hauling stuff for hauling your soil and things like that uh, they're great for hauling rocks 
or other things that you want to use for your garden. So that's a really good idea if you can find one just to invest in somewhere. Well, I think that's about it for the tips on this one. Um, not really much more to show. That's my shop or where we do all of our work and our building and stuff out there. But anyway, I hope this has helped you guys. And as always, please leave comments. If you've got some uh, a video response where you have done some recycling ideas for gardening, please feel free to send those in and I will get them approved. And uh, just remember, get your seeds. Don't forget to get your seeds. Now's the time. Take care, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.